Well, I got the motor installed. 13 horsepower electric motor, which is equivalent to about a 20 horsepower gasoline motor. It's a, it can run on 36 volts or 48 volts. On my last tractor, which was a John Deere 214, a belt drive, gear drive tractor, uh, I ran it on 36 volts. Right now I'm going to start it on 48 volts. Hopefully I can fit the fourth battery. I don't know if I can. I couldn't on the 214. I don't know if I'll be able to on this tractor. Certainly on the 214, 36 volts was plenty. Uh, you could just not stall that tractor. I have to build this coupler. I used a pulley that I happened to have that fit on the shaft of the motor and I welded on uh, a piece of square tubing and then the quasi-universal joint thing that John Deere uses. This is a 316 hydraulic tractor and I just like hydro drive much better than gears and belts, no doubt about that. But will it work? I don't know. So the motor's installed. I took all the guts out of the 214 and uh, it's all just cobbled together. It's pretty funny. I checked my voltage and yes I'm at about 50 volts. So let's uh, see how this thing works. This is my dead man switch. If, all, if it goes to hell uh, I can just kill everything with this switch here. So let's turn that on and then let's turn on the motor. This is the contactor, which actually does the connection of the motor to the batteries. And it works! Let's put it in gear and see what happens. Not too much vibration, a little bit. I might have to tweak the relationship of the motor to the drive shaft, but it seems to be running nice and true. We shall see. A lot louder than I expected, and certainly a lot louder without the cowling and everything on the motor. It'll quiet down a bit once that's all on. That's where I'm at now. Now I just need to put it all back together, wire it all up, put the body panels on, and we should be done.